Hey everybody, this is uh, this is Mike Simmons, and um, I wanted to show you the um, the current kind of hardware portfolio for ProGlove. So um, one of the one of the key pieces of uh, ProGlove is our hand wrap. Um, this is uh, designed to be worn around the hand. Uh, it's it's a Velcro adjustable, uh, a very durable, a breathable um, a piece of material here with a, a mount for the scanner um, that uh, has the index trigger as well. Um, I'll demonstrate that um, here in a minute. And then um, up here at the top, you'll see that we have our, um, these are gonna be our um, physical connection. Basically what you have here is our access point and our gateway. Uh, both of them have the scan to pair barcode. So it's really just walking up to whatever computer terminal you're going to um, connect to and you scan the, the barcode on top of the access point or the gateway and you're connected. Um, whenever you pair a, a Mark scanner, like one of our Mark IIs here, uh, whenever you pair a scanner to the uh, access point, it becomes a, rather than Bluetooth, it becomes a sub one gigahertz connection or 900 megahertz. Um, so that's gonna allow you to be able to walk away from that workstation or that laptop um, up to about a hundred feet. As far as the gateway is concerned, that'll be a USB uh, connection as well. Uh, when you pair to the gateway, um, this will become a class one Bluetooth connection. So it operates in the 2.4 gigahertz. Um, range. It will also connect um, up to the cloud over Wi-Fi so that you can see actually right now my, um, my gateway is currently connected to my laptop. So I have a, a good USB connection and then my gateway is also connected uh, through my Wi-Fi uh, here in my office um, back to our Insight portal, uh, which is our cloud um, environment. And I will demonstrate that for you as well. Um, basically, the ProGlove scanners are here. Um, they all are the same form factor, so they're interchangeable. Our Mark Basic is our entry level scanner. Um, it comes in a mid range, and you can see here that it's got um, crosshairs. So our mid range scanner is going to emit a, um, a horizontal and a vertical um, a red laser crosshair. The mid range, um, as you as you may already know, the mid range kind of sweet spot or or the the best uh, scanning distance for that is going to be for the workers that. Um, are going to start out about 12 to 18 inches from an average size barcode, and then they'll be able to go up to about four or five feet. And then when you switch over to the Mark II, you have the mid-range as well, um, just like the basic, but then you also have a standard range where that sweet spot is going to be about three to four inches away from the barcode, and then up to about two to three feet. So this is going to be for your higher volume, fast picking, uh, picking modules, um, uh, that type of uh, that type of scenario, um, it's going to have a um, more of a red uh, aiming dot versus the crosshairs that you get with the mid range. And then our our last product here is um, is our Mark Display. It is um, it it is a uh, a um, high contrast uh, e ink display. It's it's a, it's a dynamic display. So um, really, whenever you're trying to um, figure out how much information you want on the screen and how it's going to fit and what font size to use that all um, with this display it's all dynamic so it will automatically adjust um, font size and and um, and be able to pack a whole lot of information right on the back of your hand um, this mark display comes in the uh, mid-range scanning as well so I'll, I'll demonstrate that here in a minute um, so what I'll do now is I will um, demonstrate just a little bit of um, our Android application, some of the ways that you can um, scan to pair. Um, I have used our, um, in this particular demonstration, I have used the ProGlove Insight mobile application. What's nice about our scanners is that it doesn't really matter what operating system you have. Um, we, with it being a Bluetooth scanner, we have the ability to um, put this scanner into a Bluetooth pairing mode. Now, um, once you pair to it, it um, just acts as a keyboard input. So anywhere you have a blinking cursor and an entry field that needs uh, data uh, put into it, you can scan the barcode and it, and it will show up on the device. So um, what I'll demonstrate for you just for the quick um, ease of, of showing you the product and how it works is I'll, I'll um, use 
my um, I'll use my tab active here. And basically what you what you would do here if you're in the application is you have your scan to pair barcode. And then if you were to use any one of our number of SDKs, we have them for iOS. Uh, we have our SDK and uh, Android intents that can be used in the Android uh, environment. Uh, we also have the ability to um, do some SDK integration through our gateway uh, to a Windows machine uh, using uh, Streams API. Um, so I'll show you an example here. Here's our, um, our pairing barcode. You can see on my black backdrop here, my little mat that I've got the, I'm using the standard range. I have the aiming dot. So I'll, um, I'll point and aim at the, um, at the, the pairing barcode. I'm, I'm that quickly connected. Now that I'm paired, you can see I have a Mark II device type. It'll tell, uh, tell me what my, my battery uh, level is. Um, you have the ability to update firmware. Um, I show, um, I'll go over our Insight platform, uh, which will basically um, help with analytics and, and real-time scan data, um, but it shows that I'm connected there. So now that I'm connected, I'll just switch over real quick to a notepad. This could be a browser-based application. It could be a native um, uh, app that you have loaded, um, an Excel spreadsheet, a Word document. So I, I have a, a very tiny, you can see that this 2D barcode is smaller than my pinky uh, fingernail, but I'll basically just scan that barcode and you'll be able to see the pop, the data populate in my, in my notepad here. So, um, so real simple, um, everything that we, you know, everything that we design and have is, is very much uh, plug and play. These things are designed to where you take them out of the box and pair them up and they're ready to start scanning right out of the gate. Now there's a lot of things that you can do with SDK integration. There's a lot of things you can do with data formatting, whether you want to pre-pin something to the beginning of your barcode data, you want to append it to, uh, you know, something at the end, uh, a suffix of a, you know, a tab or an enter, or um, you want to change data, maybe you have a 10 digit all numeric barcode, but there's a letter right in the middle and you want to ignore the letter. You know, all of that can be done through configurations and there's a couple of different ways you can do that. Um, so what I'll do is I'll, um, I'll, I'll go ahead and switch out to my display so that I can show you um, a couple of things that you can do with the display. Um, I'm going to take my uh, display device and go ahead and pair it over here to my Xcover Pro. I'll start off by scanning the pairing barcode. You can see on the screen of the display and on the screen of the device, it actually lets the worker know that they're connected. Um, they're connected on their device. And so um, what you have the ability to do now with this, with this display is, is almost limitless. There's, there's a lot of things that you can, that you can do when um, integrating the display into your application, again, through um, the Streams API in a Windows environment, through um, Android Intents, our SDK. But I wanted to give you just a real quick example of some of the things that you can do. So on, on the screen, it currently shows that I'm connected. Again, I, I, ha I had the sound, the haptic um, feedback, and the visuals of my LEDs. So uh, what I'll do is I'll go in and I'll set a display where maybe I'm a customer where I want three um, key pieces of data. I, maybe I wanna know um, the location that I need to go to, the item that I need to pick and the quantity. So now right on the back of my hand, I, I have the ability to see that. I can take the mobile device and pocket that or put it back in the, uh, the vehicle mounted cradle or on the cart that I'm pushing it around. I have the ability to, to do what I need to do right on the back of my hand. I can point and shoot, scan my barcodes, look at the back of my hand and everything that I need is right on the back of my hand. Now, one of the things that um, you have the ability to do um, just for um, worker comfort and, and convenience for them is they may want to wear it on the back of their hand and just bring their hand right up to their face and look at it like this. Some people may want to look at it like they would be looking at a watch on their wrist. So again, whenever you're um, using the SDK and actually integrating this into your application, you have the ability to adjust things like, um, you know, your, your screen orientation. So you might have it for a left-handed worker. Um, you might have it straight up and down to where they can just bring the device right up to their face and look at it that way. Or you might have it uh, designed for um, a right-handed worker. Um, so 
that's uh, that's some uh, screen orientation there. I'll I'll close that out, and then again I'll I'll um, cycle through. Um, this might be an example of uh, somebody if if they want just two fields of data, it adjusted for that um, dynamically. It's it's got a larger font size now, and it just it fits the data really well on the screens. Now I'll show you some kind of some of the uh, potential um, messages that you can put up for if you um, if you um, you know scanned the wrong the wrong barcode um, you know you um, want to confirm a quantity. One of the things that I've um, explained to some of the customers that I've supported that we're looking to integrate the display is that well it, you know how how would I if it if it told me to go to this location and get this product and 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 scan 50 how would i type in a 50 to confirm that i scanned 50 well what you could actually do is is rethink that process and you might be able to have the display come up and say okay well if you pick 50 just confirm that quantity and then by doing a double click you you can confirm the quantity and it allows them to move to the next screen to where they're being told you know to go to the next um the next you know location and the next product and the next quantity they could pick on here they could go and 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 find that item and pick the quantity of 10 and um double click to to show that they picked it it'll say confirm quantity 10 and they can double click and confirm that quantity and then the um the wms application or whatever they're using um sends them to the next location and on they go they're they're able to do everything right on the back of their hand now, um, we won't stop at just a barcode scanning and showing some data on the display. With any of our scanners, you have the ability to turn the scanner into a, uh, um, a camera. So let's say that you're, um, you're picking an item or you've received items in and you have um, a barcode that's unreadable, you have um, a damaged product, what you can do is you can actually program a double click so that the device goes into uh, photo capture mode, and then you can point and aim your device at uh, what you wanna take a picture of, and then it'll actually show up that picture on the screen of your device that you are paired to, and you can uh, look at that photograph, you can confirm it, or you can retake the picture, and then once you're good with the picture that you've taken, it'll store that photo, and you you know you would be able to use that later to pair it up with the um, the 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 work and flow uh, process that you were currently in the middle of, and and be able to tie that back to to what you were what you were doing. Um, I'll go ahead and and uh, demonstrate that real quick. So um, I'm going I'm going to uh, basically put the the scanner into photo capture mode. Um, I'll just pick a I'll pick a scanner here. I'm gonna I'm gonna aim my crosshairs. Um, I know with the contrast and everything, it's it's hard to um, it's hard to see that. But I'm gonna aim my crosshairs at this scanner. Hit the trigger. It's gonna take a picture of it, and then what you'll see is that the picture actually shows up um, on the screen. And if I if I'm satisfied with what I've taken, I can confirm it, and then it and then it moves on to um, maybe the next pick or the next put away that you were in the middle of doing. Um, you also have the ability to program uh, double and triple clicks to do certain things. Maybe you want to, uh, you have two, I know uh, some people that use like multiple WMSs, they, um, they have to sometimes be in the middle of a process and then switch over to another application and you would be able to do that with a double click. You could, you could um, uh, switch to different programs or different applications that you have running. You could use a double click maybe to actually launch the, the photo feature. Um, just to show you some of the sample screens, I'll go ahead and tap uh, set sample screen as a double click. And now when I double click, it'll actually cycle through, um, you know, like scan the next part. Um, then you scan it and then it might tell you, okay, job done. You pick 10 pieces and then you double click again and it gives you another example. Go to this location, get this item and scan this quantity. Double click again and um, it gives you the two fields of data. Um, so basically um, the, the, the possibilities are kind of endless with the, the mark display. It doesn't act as just a barcode scanner. You can use it to take photos. Um, you can really display just about any information you want. You can change worker feedback, the the audio and the visual and and the 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 touch, the 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 haptic vibration feedback. Um, but that's just a, a quick uh, just a quick 
um, high level overview of, of the display. Um, I think what, what I'll do now is um, I'll, I'm gonna go back over to um, grabbing my standard range scanner, okay? And I, I want to, um, I'm still connected to my, my tablet. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to my notepad and I'm going to start um, sharing my screen real quick. Um, let me show you in this next um, session as I wrap up my, my piece. I want to show you um, our insight portal.